So I am just extremely grateful that we have a strong, incredible caucus, this queer caucus, the newly formed caucus that is just showing up all the time, all the time and every day. And I am so grateful for Representative Lee Finke, who um, is literally one of the kindest human beings I have ever met in my life, who is always there for a hug, who is always there to cheer people on, who is deeply connected and rooted to her community and what she does and inspires all of us to be better human beings and to be better leaders. So with that, Representative Finke. Yeah. Representative Lee Finke. My pronouns are she, her. Um, I want to start by thanking the governor and the lieutenant governor for taking this action today. Uh, this executive order protecting families and children in search of safe and effective and responsible health care will save lives. It's not hyperbole to say as much. The lives of trans and gender expansive people in this nation are under attack. There is a full-scale movement in this nation against trans, non-binary, two-spirit, and gender-expansive adults and children mm -hmm. that seeks to make our community disappear. This is the fourth straight year that we have set a record for bills seeking to erase the rights of the LGBTQ community. They are too numerous to number. There are too many attacks being made to list them here but they are doing everything they can to take away our rights. They are doing what they can to eradicate us from public life, I believe was the most recent headline. These attacks are legislative. These attacks are physical. There is real violence. There is emotional violence. And there is trauma being suffered by my community. And that's why this day is so important, not just to the state of Minnesota, but to the entire country. Our community throughout the country doesn't really get good news. Generally speaking, in the media, if they're talking about the trans and gender expansive communities, they're talking about more harm, more loss, more eradication. And, and statements like that are shocking and alarming and they put our lives in danger. It's not easy to hear that you are a part of a population that needs to be erased from public life. This is who they're talking about, by the way. They're just talking about us. I don't know what they're imagining the threat to be, but it's this group of people up here <laughs> and me. But the thing about these, this rhetoric and these attacks that we're facing at record numbers is none of that is new. Uh, there have been political movements, social movements, cultural movements that has sought to erase queer people from public life forever. In the 50s, there was the Lavender Scare, 10,000 public employees lost their jobs. In the 60s, police raided, assaulted, abused, harassed queer people at their establishments, at their gathering places. In the 80s, all the president's men gathered together to laugh and mock people who were suffering from the gay disease that would kill a generation of our community. But every time this happens, we just remain here. We, we cannot be eradicated. You cannot take a population out of existence, let, let alone one as, as tremendous and fabulous as ours. <laughs> Trans and gender expansive people have existed for all of humanity. We will exist for all of humanity. What we're saying here today is that Minnesota is a place that will allow you to be who you are. Many states are asking their people, to, their queer people to find two spaces that are comfortable, the closet or the coffin. And we are saying we are not going to accept that in Minnesota. In Minnesota, you can stay and live.
I'm very proud to be elected to this body and representing my community here, but I'm also very lucky to be in Minnesota at the time when I am. I am grateful to be here. Minnesota was the first state to protect trans people in our Human Rights Act in 1993. 30 years later, we are doing this act, this act that cannot be overstated the importance to my entire community across the country. I'm so grateful. This is very possibly the most important moment of my political career, and I cannot overstate how important it is to be a part of this, how grateful I am to both the governor and the lieutenant governor for their support, their continued support. I know it's not going to stop, and that means the world to us. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, we're queer forever here, and you cannot be erased.